We spent April and May trying to source product from wherever we could find it. Rob Rogers and School Health Corporation have been filling these warehouse shelves so schools in all 50 states can feel prepared for students this fall. That's if they're going back to the classroom. It wasn't easy as this company, 63 years old now, saw its toughest, most demanding time ever in the health supply industry. We would make these large wire transfers to people we didn't know for product that we hadn't seen. And then there was all kinds of potholes as to whether that product was really going to get here. Those products were largely coming from China where the virus allegedly originated. Rogers, like others, worried products could be seized by the Chinese, seized by U.S. Customs, redirected into the FEMA supply chain, or simply delayed during quality control. So Rogers and his team spent April and May finding new sources, like a Franklin Park, Illinois mask producer and a local beer brewer who shifted their operation to make hand sanitizer instead. The good news for our customers is that we found it and you know, you can see our warehouse is now full. During our visit in March, so much of this space was going unused. Now it's full to the brim of thermometers, hand sanitizers, face masks, face shields, and gowns. Even some gloves when school health can get their hands on them. Normally schools would order a few cases of gloves for their nurses. And now they're ordering truckloads. Gloves are going to be a global problem for probably another year. Prices on gloves remain high and hard to find, but in general, Rogers says, the supply chain, with time, has become more reliable and prices have come down. <laughs> School health sells to schools in all 50 states, K through 12. Some new offerings this fall because of the pandemic? Signage, plexiglass partitions, sprayers for deep cleaning, and these high-tech thermal scanners, catching students' temperatures as they quickly walk by. Look how fast it reads mine. That green dot doesn't identify me in any way. It just tells the healthcare provider monitoring that screen that I'm okay to head to class. That scanner, it costs $7,500. And added costs for all this non-budgeted PPE is a real concern this fall. Still, Rogers believes the market is stabilizing at last. I think if schools wanted to reopen, they'll have the supplies that they need. It's just a matter of whether or not they can all agree that uh, that's the right thing to do. Now, school health's busy season in a typical year begins the week of July 4th when the new fiscal year begins. This year, as we all know, has been anything but typical. And despite the fact that schools weren't even in session, school districts were already placing big orders starting in May. Of course, the bigger question now that we're getting really close to the start of a school year locally is... Will these schools actually reopen? And that, as we've seen, right. is changing day to day. Hour minute by, by hour. minute.